Hello, beautiful people. It's a UK panel once again, and we're back with a whole load of great guests to get your pun on on a Sunday. Um, I'm pretty knackered, to be honest, because I was um, judging, judging puns on a US show, which was supposed to be the best in the world, but it's nothing compared to what we have got for you tonight. So, without a doubt, let's get these guys on. We have got Jack Shannick, we have got Ian Bowden, we have got Roger Swift, and we have Claire Oliver in the house. How are we all doing? Good. Hey. hey. Hello, everyone. Yeah, that's the fucking enthusiasm <laughs> that we want. Um, yeah. Oh, beautiful to have you guys on board. And, of course, backstage, we have Alex Lean, who will be judging your, i.e. the viewers, puns of the night. And yes. so, so we're looking for some high-quality puns here, Alex, yeah? Absolutely. Uh, as, as regular viewers will know, I'm quite a, a harsh uh, uh, judger. Uh, also, we, we've decided to throw in a bonus topic. So the ones that uh, the, the punners are talking about, but we decided a bonus topic tonight, any Manic Street Preachers puns. <laughs> so yes. any of those that you can think of randomly dotted around the show, throw them into the mix, more the merrier. But they need to be within the actual topics or else I'll be bankrupt. So, yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice. Uh, that, that, that'll be good. Now, what topics do we have tonight, in fact? Um, now, that's a little bit of a weird <laughs> question. Uh, let's think, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? We have Halloween. We have US States. We have flowers. We have chocolate. We have professions. So can you get any Manic Street Preachers uh, puns into those ones? Bonus points, if you can. Bonus points. Let's just say bonus points instead of merch. That was <laughs> <laughs> bonus points um, are free. <laughs> but thank you very much, Alex, and um, welcome first of all to Jack Shannick um, and a new face to the panel. How are we doing? I've been better. You've been better, right? Um, yeah, it's been all, I've spent... fuck, fuck off, Jack. Um, you've been better. We don't really. Hey, don't you start? I've spent people. all day being abused by trolls. Never go to a Norwegian orgy. That's what I've learnt. <laughs> and we're off. Vacation, right? <laughs> and we're off, yeah. I, 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 re I really should know better than to talk over someone when they're setting up a pun. Um, but again, Jack, are you okay, though? I'm okay. I would have expected more etiquette from you, really. But <laughs> I've been up since 2 a.m., so you're your expectations may be out the window. Um, Ian Bowden, how are we doing? Yeah, good, thanks. I've been uh, writing puns this afternoon instead of binging Succession. Since of binging what, sorry? Succession. I'm a bit behind on that. Succession, what's that? I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, it's a Sky TV drama about sort of, a Rupert Murdoch type character. All right, that sounds not nefarious at all. Um, Roger, how are we doing? Uh, I'm good, everyone. I'm good, everyone. Just um, it, it's weird doing the gigs in your slippers. <laughs> Can't see, but I'm good. I'm good. Even weirder after five minutes after pudding. So what yeah, is just... your favorite, what is your favourite pudding, Roger? Um, probably bananas and ice cream. Probably. Would you have a wee bit of kind of chocolate over it, maybe, or no? I just have bananas and and, just... and the ice cream. I don't put anything else on it. So, Nothing. but you know, whatever's your poison. <laughs> Indeed, um, bananas and custard. I think that's that's. I was going to say pretty cool, but hey, it's <laughs> it's up it, it's up to Claire Oliver, our, hey! our fourth partner, to decide are bananas and custard cool. Ew. Ew. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Claire. <laughs> right. How we? How how you doing, Claire? How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me back. Um, we're very glad to have you back. Very, very, very glad to have you back. Very glad to have all of you on. Um, you, you got some well, hopefully some fantastic puns, and we've got some Alex Street preachers TV matchups. Who knows? Who knows? 
Um, Nathan Rampton Locke says he's all right, Jack. Um, so, hey, Nathan. Um, Mark Wilson, happy punning all. So, without further ado, shall we get on to the first round? Woo! Yay! Yeah, at least one person's up for it. Uh, <laughs> right, so, US States. US state, so we'll go with the order that we have introduced you. So we'll go Jack, Ian, Roger, Claire, times three. And we'll see how we go. So, so you're asking Jack, if I want to do jokes away. on American states? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. No, not for you, Tar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, no, I said, no. I, I, can, I, can I do them in the style of Scooby Doo? I don't know. <laughs> right, that's 47 left for the other punters. For, are you counting? <laughs> 47. Do you know what? Just do three there. Two. <laughs> All right, Roger. Four. Right, um, so Ian, what have we got on US states? Uh, well, when I eat curry in Maryland, I like a good coma, but I like Baltimore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Roger, what have we got? Right, so this is my first one. And um, you can see what I'm doing there. You got it? Yeah, I'm Washington. <laughs> 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 and we're off. <laughs> Brad, here we go. Uh, right, clear to finish off this first round on US states, please. I have a tendency to forget all the American states. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're round about what 40 of them left. Or do we have variations on them? I don't know. Jack, what we got? Uh, well, to be fair, it depends how you're counting, doesn't it, how many there are, because people always forget the Tennessee three. That's one thing you've got. To, and it depends whether you count Mississippi one, Mississippi two, doesn't it, really? So um, uh, somebody told me that the northern states are very different to the southern states when it comes to sports, because the northern states, they're more baseball-y, whereas the southern states, they're more football -y, but I, like, I always thought they were more tennis in myself. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done as well. Man. Uh, Ian, <laughs> what have we got? Um, Mal Gidroyk can walk around the capital of South Dakota without problem, but soon falls. Nice. Like that, like that, like that. Um, Roger, what do we have on US states? Right, so um I'm trying to remember this. Oh yes, so 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 a mate of mine said to me recently, he said, Roger, I know everything there is to know about every American state. I said Texas. He said, I will do when I can get a bloody signal on this one. <laughs> 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 Oh, is that number three or number four in your routine? I can't remember. It's like uh, five or six in my normal routine. <laughs> <laughs> that Claire, was an easy one, Australian. <laughs> Claire, what have we got? I can never remember the last American state. Can you put me out my Missouri? Um, okay, for the last round of US States, Jack, take it away. Um, uh, oh, uh, um, let's go with uh, funny that Wilhelm Reich emigrated to New York and not to Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck>. Oregon. <laughs> Say again. Oregon. <laughs> oh, <Okay. Yeah. laughs> Go on, just say it again. What? Say it again. Say again. Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ian, what have we got on you? 
Uh, the police in Arizona have issued a stark warning to a serial thief in the capital. Phoenix, one more time. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's good. That's good. Uh, Roger, what have we got on you? Right. <laughs> so this is uh, this is my favourite of all the American states, for the sake of the pun. No, it's my favourite of all the American states. It's this one here. Can you see what this is? Can you see what it is? Yeah, that's Pennsylvania. It's pencil stuck on it. You can't see very well. Yeah. <laughs> I'll imagine them. <laughs> There's pencil stuck on there. Right, okay. <laughs> I'll get me coat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that one. Uh, Claire, finishing off the round on US states, what have we got? My Yorkshire daughter is named after two American states, Kansas and Arkansas. <laughs> oh, this has been a beautiful round, beautiful round. And do you know that um, whenever I go to Boston, my dog likes to gather up treats from all around that state? Yeah. We end up with a Massachusetts. Anyway, Alex, um, if you can come in and tell us what uh, viewers' puns we've had. Well, it's been it's... a great round. It, it has. And it's funny um, how the promise of bonus points instead of merch means that they're not quite so forthcoming. <laughs> um, it's strange that. We've had, uh, we've had our first manic shoehorn uh, from Steve. who says, my friend Claire is selling her manix tickets and she is happy for me to pay her when I have the money. So I owe her. <laughs> what, what do you reckon? Is that, is that a bit too shoehorned in or is it smooth? Uh, I think it's, it's a lovely. start. It's, it's, a a start. Start. Yeah, it's a start. It, it, it's a start. Uh, Mark Wilson. Uh, my wife wouldn't tell me why she liked America. I'm not bothered. I'll ask her later. And you know, someone would do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mark picking up on one that Jack did earlier. Uh, don't they play Tennessee at Wimbledon? It's all in the delivery. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, all, so it's all in the yeah. Nathan Ramsden Lock. This round is Utah nonsense, <laughs> aren't they all? Uh, a, a, a blinder, I think, from Mark Wilson. Uh, Kentucky is on my bucket list. I think I think you're the one to beat for bonus points, Mark. Um, and Chris uh, Lowery, uh, <coughs> Alf, um, oh, has said, <laughs> my wife bought me a ticket to the Delaware oh. Giant Clock Museum. I owe a big sign. <laughs> I think Chris might be in the lead now. I think he's just taking it. <laughs> I thought you said big cop rather than big clock there, but now it's. Uh, <laughs> did anyone else hear that? No, that's that's Amsterdam. <laughs> so, anything else, Mark? Uh, Alex, even Martin? No, that's uh, Jamie. That, that, whatever your name is, I don't know. Just, just, just point to me, and that'll do. Oh, that, there we go. Yeah, me. Uh, that's that's it for the. Uh, yeah, that's it for the puns. Uh, so, so keep coming in. So for Alf is on the beat. So we are looking for all of your puns and um, all of your pun uh, votes for that round. Um, I'll be honest, I forgot that I was the one that's supposed to be counting them up. Um, <laughs> and we don't have many. <laughs> we don't have many. Well, maybe it's because it, it's, it's my fault. I'll be honest with you. It's my fault. Um, who has won that round? Um, how about we go for a little bit of a commercial break and then we will gather in all of the puns or all of the votes for the punners that have actually maybe won that round. So take it away. He gave us a signal. <laughs> Oh, and we have had a multitude of votes for um, for our partners here. But the first round on US States goes to Jack Shelley. I don't know because you used about 17 out of the 50 states in your first round. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, Jack has won that first round. So let's get on to the next round, which will start with, let's see, Claire. And we will go anti-clockwise. So we'll go Claire, Roger, Ian, Jack. And this round shall be on flowers. Flowers, flowers, flowers. So uh, we've got Claire, we've got Roger, we've got Ian, we've got Jack. Take it away, Claire, on your puns on flowers. Uh, there is a variety of fragrant flower that resembles a blue nipple. It's called Freesia Tits Off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your first one. Can't wait to hear your third one. Uh, Roger, <laughs> what have we got? Right, so, um, shoehorn alert, here we go. So, um, did you know that Guns N' Roses, that's Guns N' Roses, frontman Axel Rose, he can't run in marathons. Do you know why? He hasn't got any knees, knees. You have to know the song Welcome to the Jungle for that one. And the fact your first one, then can't wait to hear Manic Street Preachers one. Right, Ian, what have we got? I got drunk and I fell asleep in a field of weeds, but I had a dandy lion. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, 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 thanks. And Jack, <laughs> what have we got on flowers? I wandered only as a clod, but flats on high over laves and hills, when all at once I saw the crow, a shot of legged on dildo fans. <laughs> I appreciate that isn't a, a punning one-liner so much as a poem as an anagram, but I thought I'd give it. I thought you might want more than one word's worth. There you have it. <laughs> Just be happy I didn't do it with Jasmine. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. There were rules, uh, weren't there? I'm sorry, I mean... It's not specifically a family-friendly show, but you're making me swear, Jack. Um, right, Claire, what have we got on flowers? I caught an intoxicated yachtsman peeing in my flower beds. What should we do with the sunken dahlia? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, brilliant. Um, right, Roger, what have we got? Right, so I was going to try and write a second one about flowers, right? And what I've done here... Oh, I just turned over a new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, Ian. <laughs> flowers. Um, my mate got angry with me for throwing away all his flowers, but with friends like me, he needs an enemy. Is it an enemy of flowers? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, who cares? He was last minute fucking entering. Uh, Jack, <laughs> what have we got? I envy women when it comes to this round. I'll tell you why. Because women, they have they can use any flower they want, any type of flower, to make themselves nice. They can use rose face oil. They can use magnolia hand cream. And they wear any type of flower in the hair. What do we get? What grooming products are there for men? Only one. Coxcomb. <laughs> it's a bit niche, but yeah, I'm fucking liking it, man. Nothing niche about my willy. <laughs> as long as it's not on your knees. Anyway, uh, Claire, the last round of flowers. How are we doing? The council made my street into a cul-de-sac using flowering shrubs. It's a rhododendron. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that is genius. Thank that you. Is genius. I'll take that. Um, yeah, take that and I don't know, sign off on it. Um, that is <laughs> <one>. <laughs> uh, right, Roger. What have we got? 
Right. So um, I recently got a new job delivering flowers. And let me tell you, it's really boring, but I make it more interesting by in between every delivery. I shove my dick in a tub of margarine Yeah, because I'm really into Flora. <laughs> 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 is that number 17 on your list no it's only in the hour so <laughs> more jokes should have dicks going into things the way forward <laughs> and back well let's see uh ian have you got any jokes about dicks going into things? uh yeah the, the chelsea flower show now has to be broadcast out of the watershed because there's too much violence <laughs> 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 Like it, like it. Uh, right, and to finish off the round on flowers is Jack Shannick. They have tulips in Amsterdam, but they still can't speak properly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not having a go. But if this is actually going out on on the widest of world webs, isn't it? So I'm not having a go at anybody who speaks Dutch. I mean, I actually once saved a Dutch speaker's life. He choked on his name, but there you go. (laughs) Jack, uh, toppers upon toppers. Um, I mean, do you know that I actually um, grow fast-growing herbs in my garden? Um, Sorry, I digress. Um, (laughs) What have have we got in terms of um, of votes? What have we got in terms of viewers? Uh, uh, viewers, viewers, jokes. jokes. That's that's, right. that's that's it. Okay. We're here for something. It's jokes. Yay! Uh, yeah. Right. So uh, let's have a, a look back. Uh, David Guggenheim has just put "Call Your Mum." <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone knows David, and he's just telling you to call your mum because she might be a bit worried. Uh, Steve the Juggler, uh, self-raising an all-purpose at the back of the cupboard, then out and white at the front. I love flower arranging. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's the call your mum one again. Uh, Mark Wilson uh, got asked to choose my favourite flower. Uh, then three I really like were in the room. That put me in an awkward, awkward situation. Um, Steve is going for his second Manic Street Preachers slash flowers pun. <laughs> Closing down sale at Manic Street Preachers flower shop. Everything it must go. go. <laughs> I can do better than that. We, we, we get it. We get there, Steve. Uh, Rogers, Rogers now laid down the gauntlet, so you've got to be whatever you can come up with it. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, oh no, that's me telling people to vote. Uh, so I don't need to put that up, do we? No. Uh, I told my counsellor that I'm in love with a part of the flower that supports the leaves. She thinks it might stem from my childhood. <laughs> Steve, Steve, I think, has now just overtaken Alf uh, in terms of, um, <laughs> of winning the, the, the bonus points tonight. Um, so still all to play for. Do we need an advert? Uh, why not? Roses why? in the hospital. I mean, come on. I mean, That's that what I was, was going to do. That, that was set up. That was set up for the Manic Street Preachers and Flowers, right? But yeah, why not have a little laugh there? No, oh, it can't be. What is it? It can't be. What did you do, Ray? Oh, shit. It's a stay pun marshmallow, man. <laughs> That's nice from David. I like that one. I like that one. Um, But the winner of that round by an absolute landslide was Claire Oliver. Thank you. Very well done. Um, So we shall start with you on the next round, which will be chocolate. Okay. So we'll go uh, Claire, Jack, Ian Roger. Um, so we'll take it away, please, Claire, on chocolate. American chocolate's preferred pronouns are her, she. <laughs> uh, Ian, what have we got? Uh, sorry, Jack, what have we got? Well, 
things are getting very experimental around here. And the other day, my girlfriend, she asked for a love triangle. I put my knob in the quality street. <laughs> Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> no, I told her not. It's, um... right, Ian, uh, chocolate. Uh, my nan's made a jumper out of fancy chocolate. It's a Ferrero Crochet. <laughs> Very good, very good. Uh, Roger, what have we got right. on chocolate? Right, so earlier on today, I um, what I've done here, I thought I'd do this. What I've done is I've put, um, I've put a Cadbury's um, chocolate wrapper inside an old VHS box. Maybe wondering why I've done that. Yeah, I'm a fruit and nut case. <laughs> you have to remember your 80s adverts, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind remembering 80s adverts. Remember that was the, the adverts. Everyone's a fruit and nut case. That was the slogan in the ace. <laughs> oh, love it, man. Uh, Claire, what have we got on chocolate? I heard someone robbed a man for a bar of Cadbury's. Must have been born evil. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I've seen that in the last couple of days on Lunch Bun. Never. Never. No, Never uh, reuse lunch funds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jack, what have we got on chocolate? I once put my knob in the Cadbury's chocolates. Came up smelling of roses. <laughs> <laughs> You've made me take my glasses off. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Ian, what have we got, man? There's been so many chocolate thefts in Tesco's. They've employed Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, like, like, uh, uh, Roger, chocolate. Right, so if, uh, if anyone else out there thinks they can do better chocolate uh, prop puns than me, then you have a go at doing them, smarty pants. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them hold up, please. <laughs> I've got a use for them, actually. <laughs> Is that well, number 57, Roger? <laughs> No, it's, um, yeah, something like that, yeah. <laughs> it's when someone rolls their eyes, I do that. <laughs> it's at a random point in it. So it'll be number two then. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, everyone loves a pun. Everyone loves a pun. If they don't, then they don't know their ancient Egyptian history. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> last uh, round on chocolate puns. Please start with us. I once had shares in a failing chocolate treacle company, so I sold them to cut molasses. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, Jack, what have we got? Well, this might surprise you, but I once put my knob in the Cadbury's miniatures, and they say, never meet your heroes. All right, I put them in the cocoa pops. Turn the milk white again. How's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Do you want something not not about? I can do. I mean, Richie Benno, he wants put his knob in the in in the chocolates. And straight into the confectionery, he's strolling out again. Have you got anything about manic street preachers? I told Jack. Do they have knobs? No, <laughs> no. no interest then. If they threw themselves off a bridge, I don't know. Uh, Ian, what have we got on chocolate? Well, the problem is when you tell one galaxy joke, it creates a ripple effect. Hey! Hey! Nice, 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 nice. Uh, and finishing this round off on chocolate, please, Roger Swift. Right, so I've got what I've got here. I've got a picture, right? And this is one of my mates. This is one of my mate, Reese, and he's a peanut butter cup. And what I've done here is I've done him with a picture of a knife and a fork. So that's Reese without a spoon, and that's Reese with a spoon. (laughs) 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 Right, it's time for you guys to vote. Who has won the chocolate round? Was it Jack? Was it Ian? Was it Claire? Was it Roger? Get your votes in now and we shall um, we shall go back to Alex to read out the best of your jokes. Well, well though, before I do that, can we just spare a thought for the cost of printer ink that Roger's gone through? 
Uh, <laughs> because it's it's not cheap. He must have used at least two cartridges. Um, <laughs> Stevie Vegas uh, was first out of the traps with what do you call a girl covered in sweets? Chocolatey Claire. <laughs> Which is now your nickname, Claire. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wilson, my wife was mad when I put her chocolate bars in different wrappers. She got her Snickers in her Twix. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Another one from Mark Wilson. George Michael made himself poorly after eating too much chocolate. He was careless with his whispers. Um, going on a similar theme, Anthony Williams, with I heard a rumor they were shipping chocolate out to the Far East. It was a Chinese whisper. Uh, Mark back again with I've seen an aircraft made of bubbly chocolate. It was an aeroplane. <laughs> Uh, I was a very successful model for Cadbury's. People were always asking me to give them a twirl. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Steve does does try again with the Manic Street Preachers pun. Um, the new Manic Street Preachers thing, Cadbury's chocolate bar keeps getting postponed. It's forever delayed. That's yep. got the seal of approval from yeah. Roger. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think that's that's yeah. Yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. And uh, finally, for Tony Gardner, I was going to race and heard it was a marathon. <laughs> It's, it, it was worth it in the end, Tony. It was worth it in the end. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, a, a late addition from, from Chris Lerworth. I just want to call him Alf. It's easier. Yeah. Um, I asked the lead singer of the Mannix if I could have one of the two chocolates in his fridge. He said, if you tolerate Twix, Twix. then the chill Reese will be next. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He's back in first place. <laughs> so, so that's beautiful. That is yeah. beautiful. Cool. Another advert? Uh, yeah, because at the moment we have a tie for uh, first place in these votings. So get your votes in and we'll have another um, we'll have another advert before we declare the winner. When the big man was killed, you must have wanted it. Its blood was on the leaves. If it's phrases, we can pun it. Yeah, apparently Arnold Schwarzenegger has got a dodgy Glaswegian accent. But um, the, the the votes have come in, and the winner of that second round is Claire Oliver. Very well done, Claire. Um, wow, thank you. Ian, don't thank me. Thank the audience. Thank the beautiful UK pun of viewership for voting for yourself. Um, yeah, we've got a whole load of votes in for you just after a, a dodgy, I don't know, um, Predator advert, but who knows? Um, right, anyway, we're going to get on to our next round, which will be Professions. Now, we're going to start with Roger. Uh, we'll go anti-clockwise, so we'll go Roger, Ian, Jack, and Claire. So on professions, please take it away, Roger. Right. So um, since becoming a pun writer, I haven't, get my, I haven't given up my existing job. What I do is I force groups of retired nuns to watch Bruce Willis movies because old habits die hard. <laughs> right. Ian, what have you got? Um, I, I slept with a lollipop lady, but I didn't use protection. She just waited until I was about to come and shouted, stop, children. <laughs> very rude. <laughs> Jack saying it's very rude. Right, well, let's see what you have for yourself, Jack Shanley. Nothing at all rude. I used to work as an assistant referee. Well, it's just a sideline. But I uh, I leaked the minutes of a, a secret referee's meeting and they never thought it was me. They suspected a whistleblower. <laughs> it's got the layers. I can, do clean. The layers. I can do clean. Yeah, well, let's see what your next two ones are like. Um, I've not got not the confidence. I'll be honest with you. Um, anyway, Claire, what have we got on professions? I once dated an underwriter, but he dumped me. It's his loss. <laughs> very good. Very good. Good, I like that, I like that, I like that. Uh, Roger, what have we got on professions? Right, so I'm just going to have to read a list for you here. So we, um, Steven Spielberg, 
Martin Scorsese, oh, Quentin Tarantino, Alfred Hitchcock, James Cameron, oh, Francis Ford Cap Sorry, sorry, I'm I'm bored of directors. <laughs> It's a performance. And Tim Burton. Oh, oh, liking that, man. Liking that. Uh, Ian, what have we got on profession? Um, I've got an architect friend who's having problems designing the world's widest bungalow. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like it. Um, right, Jack, what have we got? Uh, I once thought about becoming a Freudian psychoanalyst, but instead I became a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I once tried to get into a club that was only for psychoanalysts, but the doorman asked for my id, so that didn't work out either. <laughs> what can you do, eh? What can you do in Jack? What can you do in D-Jack? Oh. They're uh, clear. What have we got on professions? As an actor, I auditioned for the role of the Princess of Wales in Netflix's The Crown, but the die had been cast. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Um, right on the last round of uh, professions, uh, Roger, what have we got? Right, a long setup alert. This goes on for a while. So, um, I want to take you back to uh, the TV show, kids' TV show Funny Bones, which was my favourite when I was a kid, and it had a theme tune that went like this. Um, it went, the theme tune went, in a dark, dark town, there was a dark, dark street. In the dark, dark street, there was a dark, dark house. In the dark, dark house, there was some dark, dark stairs. Down the dark, dark stairs, there was a dark, dark cellar. And in the dark, dark cellar, there was an electrician on strike. <laughs> How did that start? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, that was a theme tune to the TV show Funny Bones. When I do it in the show, I play it so it makes more sense. And how does it go? The theme tune? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it again. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right, Jack. This show's only well, an hour. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> oh, I love that about that. Brilliant. Uh, Ian, what have got on? Uh, I was going to say chocolate. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what joke well, you I, I was really excited because my date told me she's a professional stripper and I have no wallpaper left in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> like it, man. Like it, like it. Uh, Jack, what have we got, man? It's retraining that I keep hearing about these days. Seems to be the big watchword. What about the lawyer who retrained as a combine harvester and shredded his briefs? <laughs> What about him? <laughs> Never heard about him, do we? Poor lad. <laughs> we don't do it. Yeah, it's a shame. It's, it's a real shame. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, finishing off the round on professions, uh, please, Claire Oliver. I'm dating a candle maker, but he's getting on my wick. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> right? So that, so that is us for the topic of professions. So get your votes in. Who has won that round? Was it Jack? Was it Ian? Was it Claire? Was it Roger? Get voting now, and we'll bring back in Alex to read out some of your best jokes. Um, Stevie Vegas was first off again, saying I tried setting up a cold air balloon company, but it never really took off. Uh, Mark Wilson, I'm glad I started working as a locksmith. It's a job that opens many doors for me. Nice. Nice. A, re a reliable one there, Mark. Good. Uh, he came back with, uh, the police arrested me for breaking into a furniture shop. Fortunately, they let me off with a cushion. <laughs> oh, <wait laughs> <now>. uh, <laughs> another variant on the opening doors. Why is lock picking a great profession? Pick it open doors for you. Uh, Alf is back. I started a business selling oversized buckets, but so far it's not gone down well. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Uh, very nice. I get the feeling uh, that Stevie Vegas is looking up the uh, discography of the Manic Street Preachers now. Uh, 
got sacked from selling VHS tapes of Manic's concerts after I shouted at people who didn't rewind didn't the rewind. film. Oh. Right, okay, that passes the uh, the, the Roger uh. test. Also, did anyone else yawn when Roger <laughs> yawned? Because I did. <laughs> <laughs> it set me off. <laughs> it was part of the setup. <laughs> it, it was. It, it, it got me going as well. Uh, Stevie, last one. Uh, giving up my job selling caravans. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Do we have enough votes? Uh, we certainly don't. No. Uh, we have a <laughs> high vote for place. Um, so I think in, I was going to say, time honored tradition, we're going to go to a uh, third, or sorry, a fourth uh, pun from each of our uh, tied first places, which are Claire, Roger, and Ian. Jack, you can fuck off. You were shit that <laughs> right, apparently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we're, so we're looking for your, um, your, your best jokes out of these three guys. Ian, take it away on your hopefully fourth joke on... I'm, I'm 44 and I fancy women half my age that make a living out of helping expectant mothers. I think it's a midwife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, professions, please. Right, I'll have, right, I've had to put one at my head to chew on it. Um, you know that the former Prime Minister, right, not the current one, the one before, do you know that she's got a special power? What she can do is she can power light bulbs by sticking them up her fanny, and that joke always used to work, come what may. <laughs> <laughs> it worked brilliant when she was. <laughs> There's a mile off sign over there, and <laughs> I sort of said, uh, "Claire, what have we got on?" Uh, I can't stop back. Um, <laughs> There's no topping that. <laughs> I met my ex when I was working as a sports physiotherapist. I wish I'd never laid ice on him. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so how about we go to another little commercial break and the votes that come in will determine the winner of that little um, type of thing. And the winner of that round is Claire Oliver. Very well done. Very, very Thank done. you very, so very much. Done. I'm honoured. Well, we didn't do our um, former Prime Minister <laughs> coming joke, so I don't know, maybe that's one in your favour. <laughs> um, but yeah, you got the votes for that, Claire. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, it's I'm, I'm not going to um, try and downgrade the show, but it's an unassailable lead because uh, Claire has got three <laughs> rounds and Jack has got one. Um, it's up to yourself, Claire. Right, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you directly. Here we go, Claire blue. Oliver. Do you want the next round to be a double jeopardy kind of round or do you just want to sort of ride out your victory? What does that mean? <laughs> it means fuck all. Um, <laughs> because, let's face it, it all kind of means fuck all. We're all just here having fun, having puns, all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, um, do you want to, um, for the for the chance to Jack, because, to, I mean, let's face it, Ian and Roger, they've not get. They've not won any round. But um, but Jack is only one that could catch you clear. Okay. When it, when it comes to um possibly tying the round. I just so resigned do you want the double jeopardy or do you want to just sail off into the sunset and um and be the winner of UK Pun of October edition? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, you're right. Anyway, um, claim, the win, round... claim the win, but don't feel embarrassed if we're all better in the next round. <laughs> it's a trap. It's a tra I feel like I'm about to be trapped, actually. I'm, I'm feeling vulnerable. Bang on the ball. 
Yes. Um, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're, <laughs> we're going to start with uh, Claire in this round, and we're going to go clockwise. So we're going to go Claire, Jack, Ian, Roger on the last topic, which is Halloween. So on Halloween, please take it away, Claire. My uncle's gravestone has what a relief inscribed on it. He was a man of few words. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, 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 nice. Uh, Jack, what have we got on Halloween? Uh, last Halloween, I bought a psycho mask and fake breasts from a catalogue. Went as Jason and the Argos Norks. <laughs> Mythology for you. That's just won the world. <laughs> the internet, that's won the world. I that's haven't got really room in my flat for all that. <laughs> I'll take Wales. Fucking hell. Uh, just as well, clear you didn't take up the double jeopardy thing. Uh, Ian, no, what have we got? Whatever that was. <laughs> well, I, I, I've heard, Ian, that you've um, created a new Halloween drink where you merge two coffees. It's your pumpkin spliced latte. <laughs> oh, I like it. Uh, Roger on Halloween. Right, so um, I got somebody asked me once, they said, can you write a pun that involves both Harry Potter and mathematics? So what I did, and I did this picture here of a Miney Granger with an abacus, which counts, <laughs> which counts because she's a witch and she's, can't, yeah, <laughs> that was the weakest one. <laughs> right, moving on to Claire. I was once arrested for stealing Halloween decorations. I have a lot of skeletons in my closet. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Jack, what have we got on Halloween? Okay, right. Are you ready to go trick-or-treating? <laughs> yes. Well, why have you got an erection? You said we need a gigolo. <laughs> I said a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> oh. Well, how could you confuse gigolo with jack-o'-lantern? I'm not very good at puns. <laughs> well, couldn't you at least chosen something less rude? How would I explain the erection? <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know if it's a UK improv. Just switch, shaking his head. That must have been shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a UK improv off or the pun off. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, um, we'll continue on to uh, Ian Bowden, please, with your Halloween pun. Uh, yeah, uh, birds take their children to others' nests on Halloween and they play twig or tweet. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, Roger, what have we got? Right, to reword this one, and I keep getting it wrong in the delivery when I was rehearsing. So, um, so I went out trick-or-treating and I saw a friend's costume, which was a bank vault. I said, I thought you were coming out dressed as an apology. He said, well, I thought I'd better be safe than sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right on the uh, on the last for October edition of UK pun off, uh, it's Halloween uh, puns. Please take it away, Claire. Oh. They ran out of pumpkins to carve, so I had to use a satsuma. It looks a bit pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Ian. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to work that one out. <laughs> I did it. Try it again. Double yeah, jeopardy. It's, so, it's always funnier second time around. Anyway, Jack, what have we got? 
Uh, one Halloween, I wore a chicken costume and smoked cocaine. That was the crack then. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it kind of Jack Shannock's next poster. It's a pun, isn't it? It's a pun, there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ian, what have we got, man? Um, to protect myself from serial killers, I've surrounded my home with some trendy swamps. They're Michael Myers. Yeah. <laughs> Like it, like it, and to round, to round off the show, um, the Halloween special, if you like, even though it's a week today. Uh, Roger, what have we got for Halloween? So, um, whilst I was out doing that trick or treating, I saw another, um, I saw another guy. He was dressed as a violin, and then he walked into someone's garden who had floodlights, and he had a seizure. Yeah, fit as a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think that's number 72 on my list, to be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, so, so who has won that round for you guys? Um, was it Jack? Was it Ian? Was it Claire? Was it Roger? Get voting now, and we'll bring back in beautiful Alex Lean to read out some of your books. I'm just still laughing at it. It's a pun, in it? Quite one, eh? It's a very Yorkshire way of going around the pun off. It's got yeah. like, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark Wilson uh, with Argos are selling Harry Potter broomsticks for Halloween. They're only a quid each. <laughs> Mark followed that up with there's a new horror film being released for Halloween about ghostly chickens, poultry geist. <laughs> uh, Steve, Stevie Vegas is back with. I had to give a lifetime ban to the Manic Street Preachers from all my <laughs> Halloween parties after they sent in the Tigers. The tigers, yep. <laughs> Good. I, I, I like the fact Roger is here to clarify all of this because I haven't yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's a fun, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of their albums, it counts. Yeah. Mark Wilson, Casper can't drink milk. He's lactose intolerant. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stevie is back with Robert keeps putting his head underwater and coming up with fruit. Bobbing for apples. Ah, that's what he's doing. <laughs> uh, Johnny Gardner, what do you call a reindeer on Halloween? A caribou. We all know Albert Einstein was a genius, but his brother Frank was a monster. Two, two for one. Nice. Anthony Williams got stunk by this got stunk. Got stung by an undead insect. It was a zombie. Sorry. Uh, ironically, I killed that joke. <laughs> uh, Stevie was back with, uh, I was attacked by some probiotic yogurt. Thought they were meant to be friendly bacteria. I urge you to never dabble in the Yakult. Yay! <laughs> Very nice. And, and final one from Anthony. The best town in Yorkshire Halloween? Goo. <laughs> So, do we do we need a do we need an advert because we've run out of adverts? We may have to repeat the first one. <laughs> <laughs> not now, not now that Vivian has cast her vote, oh. which has just confirmed that the winner of this week, or sorry, this month's pun off, is Claire Oliver. Oh, hey. thank one you. One of the rounds, one of the pun off, very well done, Claire. Chocolatey Claire um, wins. <laughs> So Claire has one. Um, so let's um, let's wrap up the show. Um, I don't. I'm not done this in about a month, so I can't remember what we do. Uh, Jack, have you got anything coming up that um, you want people to know about? Anything you want to promote? Watch this space. <laughs> Well, if you're watching on UK Pornhub stream, then it's fucking statistically not likely you're going to get much. Uh, Ian Bowden, what have you got coming up? Uh, nothing coming up at the moment, but um, I am on my Twitter handle, I be laughing. Nice one, nice one. Give him a follow. Uh, Roger, um, what, are we, what are we doing? What have we got, what have we got coming up? Um, can I use this excuse to uh, do a Manic Street Preachers pun involving flowers? Can I use this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And it's the nichest pun ever because it requires another field, which is all right. So um, I met Doctor Who the other day. Well, it was the David Tennant one. And I met him and I said, and I said, um, he said, I can't talk for long. I'm off to see the Manic Street Preachers in concert. I said, oh, you're taking one of your companions. He said, well, Rose is in the hospital. 
Right. <laughs> yeah, well done, Roger. I'm pretty sure that I'd done that earlier. But yeah. <laughs> you said Rosen Hospital, you didn't do that one. Right. Um, yeah, I've got a gig coming up on Thursday. I'm in Redditch. If anyone wants to go to Redditch and watch me. <laughs> Oh, if you tolerate that, then um, anyway, uh, Claire, what have we got coming up? Our winner for tonight on the October edition of the UK panel, very well done. Thank what you. have we got coming up, Claire? Uh, well, you could always check me out on Twitter. You've got my Twitter handle there. There's always some puns and a few parodies. Um, but tonight, you mentioned her. He's just voted for me, Vivian. I'd like to say happy birthday. Okay, so in that case, yes, then, she is. then Jack Shannick has won tonight because it's obviously a fix. So Jack Shannick, no. Well, if I'm uh, one, no. follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, by four rounds, Claire has been the, the obvious winner tonight. Very, very well done. Very well done to all of you. I mean, some of those jokes were, well, you sort of see my reaction. Um, I'm, I'm known as a shoulder chuckler. Um, <laughs> I'm not a, a lol chuckler. I don't laugh out loud, but some of your guys' stuff tonight did actually, as you've seen, make me laugh out loud. That was beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, Alex, um, what have you got coming up? Um, anything within the next 32 minutes at all? <laughs> Very nice. Your maths has improved as the show's gone on. Um <laughs> It, yeah, at half past eight uh, tonight, awkward question time. Um, so if you're on Facebook, search for awkward question time. But if you're on YouTube, search for awkward question time. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, check out awkward check uh, question time. Um, it's coming up in about half an hour. Enough time for you to go, go and get a cup of tea, go and get whatever you want. Um, but get back off oh, question time. It's a it's a brilliant little show. Um, it's, cool. it's really funny, really funny. Um, but yeah, um, that is us for the October edition of the UK Pun Off. Thank you very much for everyone tuning in. Remember, um, this show can only sort of keep going by um, your donations. So if you can donate what you can to PayPal.me forward slash UK Pun Off, as Alex says, it's down there. Don't donate to Roger in, in case you're sort of in case you're confused <laughs> by Alex there. Um, but yeah, um, donate to Roger if you want because he's a great guy. Um, but yeah, you uh, paypal.me forward slash UK pun off. That is the, the PayPal address for us to keep the show going, keep the lights on as it were. But anyway, until next month, until we have another punch, punch show, until we have another UK pun off show. Um, until we have maybe another celebrity interview, pun wise. Um, thank you very much for watching and keep it cool. Thank you from Roger, from Jack, from Ian, from Claire, and from Alex. Show us wave, everyone. Thanks, guys. <laughs>